Quickly open your Bibles with me to Isaiah 61 verse 3. Please, Isaiah 61 verse 3. I want you to know it's a process tonight. It's a process tonight. Isaiah 61 verse 3. I read, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes. I will pause there. Do you know how the beauty comes? When you have the ash, you use the water, you have your bath, isn't it? You wash off the dust. And after you have a bath, you wash off the dust. God washes you. God cleanses you with the washing of the water of the world. He cleanses off all the ash. Cleanses us all, cleanses of all those things, the remains, the memories of those situations, the remains, the ashes, you know, the remains. And then what does he do next? He said, then he gives you the oil of joy for mourning. It begins to oil your life. You know, a door that is creaking, just put oil on it. As you open your door, everybody knows your neighborhood that you just opened the door. Just pour oil on it. So you will not mourn, neither will you mourn. So when the Lord baths you, washes you, I say there is a beautician here tonight. When the Lord, Holy Ghost beautician is here tonight. When the Lord baths you, washes you with the water. And then what does he do? He oil your life. When you have your bath, you clean your body, don't you? So God oils you so that there is no more mourning. No more pain. No more sorrow. That part of your life that was stiff and rigid and causing pain, your mourning, maybe your husband, your family, when the oil comes, joy enters that place. The place of sorrow, the place of pain. That's why it is strategy. God said, get the water and get the oil. And I want to assure you, some of you tonight, you're going to have divine visitations. What is he going to do? He's going to give you a garment. When you have a bath, when you cream your body, you put on your clothes. There's a new thing here for somebody. I wish somebody just caught that. I wish somebody just caught that. The Lord washes you. Remove the ash. When people look at you, there will be no trace, no smell of that situation. Make different breathe. And it put grace upon you. They oil you. You look younger. More beautiful. Stronger. Radiant. You smell sweet perfume to your husband. To your boss. You're bubbly with joy. No more complaining. And he puts on you the garment of the queen. And the garment of the king. A royal robe. Your garment of authority. Your garment of power. Some of you are going to have the encounter tonight. The season you will see God changing your garment. You will see God giving you a new office. Elevating you. Promoting you. The difference. How can you tell a policeman from a doctor is their garment? When you see the clothes, you know this is a police officer. When you see his clothes, you know this is a military man. When you see the clothes, you say, no, this is a fire. Your, your identity, your dignity will be revealed this season. Because God is giving you a new garment. When you walk in the presence of your husband, when you walk in your workplace, when you go for a job, when they see you, they know you qualify. Because you have a spiritual garment upon your life. This season. That is what God is going to do. Amen. I'm going to read the second scripture. I just want to read three, scriptures, three passages. John chapter 8 verse 12. So remember we're going to speak these things. Oil of joy. Everything that will bring you joy this season. It's going to come into this oil. Everything that's going to bring you joy. Every joy that God has promised for your life. Every joy. I mean every bit of it. John 8 12. What does he say? I read. He said John then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. I want you to focus on the last phrase, the light of life. There is a light for your life that guides you in a path. There is a light of life. This life needs a light. 
and that light is Jesus. There is a light of life, or else you will be lost. You will be lost in your career, you will be lost in ministry, you will be lost in everything you do. But when you have the light of life, he leads you. Matthew 25, how do we operate this light of life? Matthew 25, I'll just read verse 4. Familiar story. The ten virgins. Five were wise and five were foolish. We're still talking of the oil. <laughs> to maintain the light. Five were wise and five were apostle is laughing. He's catching the revelation already. Five were wise and five were foolish. Verse 4 of Matthew 25, you say, but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. We're talking of reserve. They took oil in a separate container and with their lamp. They have been going to anointing service. They are going to the anointing service. I'm going to I'm telling you today there is a reserve that is coming upon them. That in the dark hour, in the midnight time, when many will be crying, Lipo Koshaka, when cross darkness will cover people in your vicinity, when darkness will visit your family, your father's lineage, your mother's lineage, you will wake up at that season. You will not be lost because you are reserved. I'm asking God for reserve. I'm asking God for reserve. It's all good and bubbly when it is daylight. And you have oil in your lamp. But what happens at night when the lamp runs out of oil? What happens in your night season when you don't feel like being joyful? What keeps you going? Do reserve. Because this oil, the anointing, the Holy Spirit cannot walk where there is no joy. That is why the devil always wants you to, he wants to stifle the peace. You are never at your best when you are not in joy. The Holy Spirit cannot operate. He operates with the oil of joy. The Holy Spirit cannot operate when you are mourning and you know complaining. He cannot, you stifle him. He operates smoothly like oil. He flows. I'm talking of reserve for you tonight. Stand on your feet of me, please. And after praying on this oil, the Bible talks about the heaven you know, and the earth, bringing up righteousness and salvation. We did it a few years ago. We did it a few years ago. I mean, there are tangible testimonies. Don't have time. When we have time, one of these days, we we'll take testimonies. The Lord led us and we prayed on oil. We didn't pray for ourselves to use. And this is what the Holy Spirit, I hear him speaking again tonight. Everybody who were instructed to go and uh, anoint the land were not the whole of London. If even you travel outside London, carry the oil there. And let me tell you, there were deliverances, encounters, and revelation of people. I mean, they encounter things in the spirit, I mean, whole environment. And BBC News was on, that's in the spirit. And they said, How did you say people were in the gutter? It's like people who are dead, they were exhumed. That how did you hear, they were interviewed, and how did you hear the voices of these people crying yeah. in the gutter? Do you know in your environment, there are many people locked up in the ground? You see them walking on the streets, don't you? Do you know they're spiritually in prison? But the anointing breaks the yoke. Yeah. I said, but the anointing unlocks yeah. every closed door. Yeah. I said, the anointing breaks the yoke. Yeah. It breaks every padlock. Yeah. Libro koshaka taraba kasani. Makuna libro koshaka taraba baba. Lift up your oil. Lift up your oil. Nako soko toro baba baba shata. Riba kasaka taraba baba 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 koko. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, 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 yes. There is an outpouring. There is an outpouring. Come and into that oil, you know. And yes, yes, receive it. 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 Receive the reserve. Receive grace. Receive joy. Receive grace. Lipa kashaka tarabababa. Lika posata. Receive joy. In the place of soul. In the place of soul. Wherever this oil is applied, you will glow. You will shine. Because this is your year of glorious shining. You will shine. 
God. Jesus, you are the light of life. And we are partnering with you. We're telling you we are very serious this year. We choose to walk in the light. We refuse to be foolish. Foolishness is gone. We are wise people. He said the wise took oil in their lamp. And you say in Daniel 12, 3, they that are wise, they will shine like the firmament, like the stars of heaven. And they will turn many unto righteousness. And Lord, we're asking for the capacity. We're asking for the capability. We're asking for the ability. We're asking for the divine potential to turn many unto righteousness. Let the power that set people free, let the anointing that delivers your people, let it come upon this anointing only. Jesus. That wherever we drop this oil, in any workplace, in any junction, in those places where young people are being stabbed, in those altars where people are being slaughtered, that when we pour the oil in those places, the Lord, the evil voice that is crying for vengeance, will be silenced, and the satanic cauldron, the satanic pot, will be vomiting those people, those estates of oh God that are notoriously known for crime, those environments that are notoriously known for wickedness, for deprivation, by this reason of the anointing, by this oil, oh God, your power of success, your power of success, your power of success will come upon those environments. Father, we take over London, we take over Great Britain, Everyone that has been moaning and complaining and sorrowful over anything. When this oil encounters our life. Oh, I feel God saying about a, a place of worship. You need to anoint your place of worship. Amen. You need to anoint your place of worship. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You need to anoint your place of worship. Glory. Let there be light and let darkness Amen. disappear. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let every sick be healed. Hallelujah. Let every closed door be opened Hallelujah. by the anointing. Hallelujah. Let every bondage be broken Hallelujah. with ease, with ease, with ease, with ease, with ease. With ease. No more struggling. In the name of Jesus, we break the yoke of struggling. Hallelujah. We break the yoke of poverty. Hallelujah. You will shine. Hallelujah. When people see you, Hallelujah. you will be the candidate for breakthrough. Hallelujah. You will be the candidate for testimony. Hallelujah. You will be the one that will save souls. And turn many unto righteousness. Hallelujah. You will not get dry. Hallelujah. This year you will not run dry. Hallelujah. Your cup will not run dry. Hallelujah. You will have a reserve anointing. Hallelujah. When the enemy thinks he's going to check you out in your night season, there will be greatly surprised. And so when the enemy will knock at your door in the night season, there will be days. Because they will see the reservoir of heaven. Amen. Yes, the Lord is pouring oil in your belly. He's pouring oil in your spirit. Amen. And this oil will flow out of Amen. you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, I pray one more time. That by the power that brings honey out of the rock. The power that brings oil out of the rock. I ask out of difficult situations. Out of hard places. Oil is favor. Oil brings grace. Lima Koshanda Rababa. Lipro those those stones, those mountains, those stubborn people, those stubborn personalities, those stubborn situations they have confronted before that have said no. Those doors that stubbornly closed that could not open. By this anointing of God, this time of God, when your people speak to their friends, when they speak to their spouses, when they speak to their bosses, Lord, when they knock on those doors, let there be favor. Amen. in relationships. Lord, just like Esther, Amen. she dressed herself, she Bible says she put on the oil and when she went in the presence of the king, she received favor. Amen. Let the Holy Ghost, the anointing of favor, Amen. let it work for whosoever need mediation with their spouse, Amen. need mediation for relationship that is meant for them. Amen. In the name of Jesus! Amen. 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 Give God the glory.
Somebody help me, please. He's just going on and on. But I'm back at you to yours. It can go round and round. It's going round and round. Wonderful, Jesus. Aha, uh -huh. I want it. You know Amen. what you do? You hold the Amen. bottom and you turn the top. So you're going to drop a little bit on your head, put a little bit on the lid. Now you're going to pray. Say, oil of favor. Baptize my head. Baptize my head. All right, point on your head. Oil of favor, oil of favor. Baptize my head. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say oil of favor. Oil of favor. Baptize my head. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I shall be fulfilled in life. In the name of Jesus. I shall be fulfilled in life. In the name of Jesus. Say, oh God, arise oh God, I and visit my life with permanent blessings. Permanent blessings in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord.
up in their life. Some people oh, is a comma, oh, is a pause. Oh, yeah, Say so every satanic comma, every satanic comma, a full stop, a full stop, a sign to detain me. A sign to detain me. Vanish, 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 vanish. Why did I ever choose? Yes. Hey, Jesus. 
He said, in essence, do something for me to upgrade my belief system. I say one tangible breakthrough yeah. in your life yeah. that will upgrade yeah. your faith yeah. and belief in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And I hear, oh Lord, oh Lord. Help, my help my own belief. 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 Do it anyway. Do it anyway. For your glory. Jesus Christ. When you get home, the Bible says that you are coming in shall be blessed. Amen. As you're stepping at your door, drop that oil. Amen. Don't be weak. I say, my coming in is blessed. Amen. All that water pouring on that floor. Amen. This desert shall receive the stream of the Lord. Yes. It's already. Your life, your family, I mean, oh, thank you, sir. Oh, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oh, God. But somebody, hear this. The Bible says that the desert will start to sing and rejoice. Amen. Because of them that return. The captivity. Why? Because the dry land will receive water. Amen. All the desert spirits and desert beasts will disappear. Amen. That land is meant for the redeemed, Amen. not for desert beasts. Amen. Your life, your marriage, your family, your ministry, your business, I'm telling you, all those unprofitable things that have been occupying it today. We release the red cards. As you get home, joy will return to your home. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The land will start to rejoice because you have returned. Amen. When you get in, don't forget this. Drop the oil, drop the water, Amen. and declare, my coming in is blessed. Amen. So whatever the sad situation you may have a land and if it's a desert, no fruitfulness. You may have a business and if it's a desert, you continue to pump in money and you continue to get in nothing. You continue to make efforts, so and sacrifice in that marriage and you continue to get thoughts and prayers. I say that desert situation is cancelled. The desert spirit is banished. Amen. The river of life is flowing. Amen. The oil of joy is there. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is for somebody. Keep praying this prayer. I refuse to be a Thomas. I refuse to be a Thomas. My sister, if you permit me, I'll pay you off it. Yes, sir. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That's the last word I heard. I refuse. And exactly when I was praying for your son. Is that your son? What's his name? Eh? Ishmael. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Ishmael. You pray that prayer for him. He will never, never be a God. Please prepare your offering. We are going. I'm going to meet in peace. I'm not living in London. I wanted to cancel coming and ask my sister to have this life on radio. They don't say you have to go. So I have to go to a nanny to take care of my children while my wife going to work. Praise God. Hallelujah. That I'm blessed. Prepare your offering in a hurry. Be the first. Praise God. That is Thanksgiving offering.
And this is not thanksgiving because of what God has done for you before. This is like Jesus standing before the tomb of Lazarus. And he said, Father, I thank you. You are thanking God because you are sure you have received one tangible breakthrough. Father, we thank you. Mighty God, we bless you. Glory be to your holy name. Father, we thank you for all the children that are here. Amen. For all the youths of this land. Amen. We raise them all before you. In fact, if you have that oil, if you drop it on the ground, pray for the youths. Precisely for the youths. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of Glory. Just give God thanks. Give God thanks. And while you are going home, keep smiling. Keep smiling because something great has happened in your life. And I'm telling you this. This month, today is 28. Don't let it pass this month. Take hold of it and keep speaking it. Fear not. Thank you, mighty God. Amen. 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 You call the offering. Praise God. Praise the God. Hold it. Hold it. Father, we thank you. Mighty God, we bless you. This is multiplied a thousandfold. To the glory of your holy name. Yes. Father in heaven, we bless your holy name. We sanctify this earth. Yes. We anoint it with the oil of multiplication yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. From the pockets from west, this seed come. Father in heaven, it is like the pot from where the water was taken from. Hallelujah. Father, that, that pot, those pots were blessed. Father, this pot is blessed. Amen. And it will feed people. Amen. And they will have good life. Amen. Those that were not having good life, they will have good life. Amen. Because of your heart that has given. Amen. Father, we thank you for this thank ministry. You. Thank you for Pastor Blessing and Family. Amen. Father, our prayer for them is that you shall perfect all that concerns Amen. them. We pray for the body of Christ. Hallelujah. That your hand will rest upon the body of Christ. That none shall do them evil. Amen. And they shall expand and take more, more and more nations. Amen. Even through your heart and through your words. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's just be a point of view. Let's going to close. May the grace. Of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.